Hey everyone, so today we are at Highway Inn and this is located in Kaka'ako. By a highway. <laughs> is it really? That's not a highway. So today we are at Highway Inn as our first stop and um, Highway Inn, just a little bit about Highway Inn. So Highway Inn serves Hawaiian food here. It's been around since 1947 and this is its second location. So we're in Kaka'ako now. It's, its main location is in Waipaka. And I also read online that it's, it's, it's in its third generation of family business, family owned business. Another, another cool thing that I heard or I read online is that you can also ship um, Highway Inn products and foods all over the country. So they, they use UPS and they ship it. So if you're watching this and you are from the mainland or you're not from Hawaii, you can still get great flavors um, from Highway Inn shipped to you. So we are Aww. also here today uh, with um, my sister Jenny, her wife Lori, and um, their daughter Aiko. So excited to share this adventure with them. And later on, we're going to be going to the Bishop Museum where our, our, the rest of our family will be joining us. Everybody say hi. 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 It's going to be fun. Nice local kind of fun. Excited. Aiko, say hi. <laughs> what did you do? So, I got the pork um, lao lao and it comes with the sweet potato and the lomi salmon and I got brown rice. And I got beef stew mm. and look and the steam is still coming, it's still hot and and then there's mac salad and brown, is that brown rice? Brown rice? Yeah. And also you got some sweet, okay, now and sweet potato. Oh, okay, now and sweet potato, excellent. Oh. And Aiko got a little slider. Oh, it's <laughs> so cute. Oh, Aiko, oh, your Aiko. slider Aiko. with french fries. Oh, your favorite. Oh my goodness. We ordered a tasting plate, and the tasting plate, uh, which is kind of on the pricier end, I would say, but it uh, it comes with a taste of everything. So <laughs> we have uh, the sweet potato, boy. Lao Lao. There's a Lao Lao in here that open. Um, it has Kalua pig, it has long rice, lomi salmon, and squid lao. And then on the side, we also got some smoked meat. Well, that's gonna be good. Try some of the smoked meat. It's got it, it's like, it has a lemon. I know, right? It's so good. Eggplant. Meat is super soft. It tastes like kiabi grilled smoked flavor. And some onions and green onions mixed in. It's really good. Mm. I'm gonna try the long rice. Mm. I didn't realize highway mm. was like, I feel like the top, like more highway in. It's good. Yeah, it's very good. It's very good. Yeah. It's a little on the saltier side, so if you like yours like, salty, then that mm. one is really good. Yeah. Um, squid luau. A lot of people either don't know or don't like squid luau, but. Well, it's an it's an acquired taste. It's like coconut milk plus lao lao leaves and squid. What's that one you use? Mmm. This one is really good. Some of them I try are more runny. This one is um more like a paste kind of thing. But it's very very delicious. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try a bit of the lomi salmon. I see mostly tomatoes and not very little bits of salmon, but it does taste very good. Like lomi salmon would taste. Um, and maybe the poi. So the last time we had poi, we went to uh, the Waiahole Poi Factory. And that was really good there. This one is also really good. It's very fresh. Mmm, that's really good. It's very tasty. It's um, it's got a really nice like the pork is very tender and like tons of flavor. Blue um, olives are nicely flavored also. Not too salty. Look, Scarlet.
Hey everyone, so today we are at the Bishop Museum and uh, we are so excited to be here. Haven't been here and when was the last time you came here? Three weeks ago. Oh yeah, you brought Eiffel here. Um, but the Bishop Museum, was it's been around since 1889 and uh, they hold the largest amount of Hawaiian artifacts um, in the world. So it's a really um, historical place here in Hawaii and they, today um, we're going to go visit a new event. Um, they have a powwow exhibit and powwow is um, a group of people that uh, do art together and so they have 160 artists from all around the world um, and including artists from Hawaii and um, they just came to, to paint murals and we're gonna see all of that today so I'm excited to be here and check out the view So currently, if you are a visitor, general admission is around $25 and kids are 17. There are also discounts for locals, military, and museum members. Cool things to check out at the Bishop Museum is the 70 seat planetarium, the Science Adventure Center, which we visit later on in this video, and the beautiful Hawaiian Hall that houses a giant life-size whale. So one of the main reasons that we came to the Bishop Museum today was to visit the new powwow exhibit which will be available till September 19th, 2021. This exhibit showcases 160 Hawaii-based international street and sculpting artists. Back in the, the 90s, we used to have things called pay phones. You put money in here, and then you can dial a number. Yeah, pretty cool. You, just, you can't take it with you. And you'd probably catch some kind of strap. Like um, he's either pooping or or giving birth. Wow! What are you doing, Aiko? Sitting. Sitting. Oh, you get a lot of interesting things. Like this art, you know, it's not. I don't know. I cannot relate to this power art. It's just too too much too much visual stuff. There's some I like. I like it, it's cool and colorful. That was amazing. It's amazing to see all that street art in one place and the different artists and their styles and some of them using acrylic art, some of them using spray paint, uh, some of them using colored pencils. It's awesome. And then just taking like their surroundings, like you see this in downtown Chinatown when we go um, and Kakaako now, like it's just all over the place. So it's really cool to see that Hawaii is embracing this culture. So next, we're going to the science museum and it has like this ginormous volcano. And it has on um, this other types of exhibits that like relate to science. Like they show like um, insects and they talk about them. And then um, they have like this other gallery view area with all these fake animals. It's kind of cool. Excited for the science museum. Yeah. Well, 
it's been many, many years. So this is a brand new exhibit for me. Oh, it's been here for like 20, 30 years. Right? Really? The explosive, it says the explosive truth, the lifestyle of a volcano. That sounds good. Vibrations, energy, science. Cool. But it's cool. I'm saying that the Big Island has the volcanoes, and so the sand at Kalapana Beach is black because it's broken down from the lava rock. So it says as hot lava from Kilauea and Mauna Loa pour, pours into the cool ocean water. Steam explosions blast the lava apart, forming fine grains of basalt okay. rock sand. So that's where the sand comes from. But it's so interesting. Look at all the different kinds of, kind of sand. of this museum I would um, create more like interactive activities and stuff to, to bring people here it's pretty cool though actually yeah yeah but you know I, I keep thinking about like maybe more like Disney style where mm. you know like that theater area just now could have been a really cool place where kids can learn and interact with some guy who's like really funny you know like you showing science <laughs> telling rock jokes Overall thoughts of Vish Museum? It's a, I had to rate it out of a 10 scale. I would say it's a 7. I remember coming to this exhibit and bringing Aiden, my nephew, when he was like 2. So that was 3 years ago. Yeah, so they could obviously make some upgrades, but overall, if you've never been to the Vish Museum, it's a good place to come. Yeah, family come friendly. Toy, family friendly. It's cheap. Mm -hmm. you know, kids under the age of 3, I think, are free. So check it out. I mean, we went through it really fast. Yeah. So, uh, Aiko really enjoyed herself. I thought that was the best. Especially this last part with a lot of the hands-on yeah. volcano. My favorite part was um, just the details, like powwow. Oh yeah, that was really yeah, cool. Yeah, it was very yeah. detailed. It, yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. Like the food, but it was fake food. Yeah. <laughs> no, the powwow power, power, um, exhibit. The powwow exhibit was very um, interesting because like it's like graffiti and stuff, and like it looked like you're in like um, like an like in the heights kind of. Cause like we got to see on um, like an art gallery also too, in another section, and then we just went to the science um, museum, and unfortunately the volcano wasn't erupting. Yeah. I like the cannon, the the air cannon. You hit the. Oh yeah, that was cool. And it, it shot and. Kinda. You could see the, the how much air is concentrated and, and, and made the vibrations. That was yeah, that, that was, was my favorite cool. part of the science part. But the powwow was ex excellent, I thought. Powwow was like my favorite part too. This is the Bishop Museum. All right, so that ends our trip to the Bishop Museum. I hope you guys enjoyed watching our adventure here and um, enjoyed watching the Hawaiian food that we ate. 
uh, we definitely definitely would recommend Highway Inn. And if you've never been to the Bishop Museum, it's a great place to come with the family and just learn about um, you know the Hawaiian heritage that we have um, here in Hawaii. Love the powwow exhibit. If you're from here and you're a local, um, would highly suggest coming just to see that alone. It's great, uh, and it's just there's so much color and it's so vibrant. So I um, definitely would recommend that. And other than that, guys, we'll see you guys in the next one.